What is up, friends, family, and assorted gamers? It is I, Stu Stumagoo, coming at you with another episode of Create Mafia. Uh, so while we've been gone, the farms have actually been working hard, so we very slowly have a supply of iron coming out of this thing, which I'm super pleased about. Um, it's also giving us poppies, which I can use to breed uh, various things. So now with me, I don't know all of the key binds for easy villagers, but I'm hoping when the villagers in the basement grow up that wherever they wind up. Oh, that's right. I put them all in the incubator. The villager incubator. They go in baby villagers and come out adult villagers. The whole thing is very sanitized and I don't know what I'm going to do with my Buffalo Bill basement here. Uh, something about lotion, I don't know. But anyways, uh, I logged on, and to my surprise, it's a gift from Mystery. It's a trapped chest with a portable drill. Durability now replaced by steam. This drill can destroy most known blocks, unfortunately cannot be enchanted. Well, apart from the enchantment digging. What... That's such a nice gift. So, let's see about, do I even have steam to, to use it with? I'm also keep this very nice sign in. It's a prismarine chest. That is a nice chest. Man, out of context, that could get me in trouble. Well, yeah, we'll hang on to those. I probably could have placed that chest down, but... Um, let's just kind of give this drill a shot. I think it needs steam. Alright, well, I'm, I, we're, we're going to experiment with this. It's a portable drill. It needs steam. Oh, wow, yeah, it needs fuel and water. So, we're going to have to get both of those, because I don't know. I don't know much about how it works, but we'll look it up. But that was a very nice and thoughtful gift. We're going to need that extra storage, huh? Could have sworn one of these other chests already had the flowers. The flowers. Uh, yeah, we'll just have to put that prismarine chest actually down. And I might have to move some of these villager farms elsewhere, but we shall see. In the meantime, let's go check on our farm farm. Looks like I can get some more honeycomb. That's super reliable. Now I'm always going to be looking over my shoulder because I'm never going to know. Oh yeah, that's our iron farm making iron. Gotta be a way to upgrade and speed it up because it is very slow. And I don't know if that's a game balance thing or a config thing. Or if we really do need to be hunting down upgrades. Where's my knife? There's my knife. We'll go harvest our crops real quick. Oh. That's food for villagers. Because villagers can't eat overly refined foods, which I find interesting. They eat a very raw diet. Which I'm okay with. It's a largely vanilla diet. And it's like, whatever works for you, villagers. And it's going to be nighttime, so we got to retreat inside anyway. Yeah, this farm's really popping, at least for our needs. Let's see, do we have another rich soil yet? Nope, still compost. All right, Clippy. Last time we had made a shaft, and I think what I ultimately wanted to make was a hand... Oh, I missearched that. 
Creative Simple Shop. Interesting. Hand crank is what I was going for. Just three pieces of wood and whatever andesite alloys. There we go. We officially have a hand crank and we can ponder it. So we will look at it and we will hold W to ponder. Hand cranks can be used by players to apply rotational force manually. Right click to rotate it counterclockwise. Sneak and hold right click to make it clockwise. That's actually really cool. I don't know what comfy reading is. Kinetic sources, uh, copper valve, water wheel, large water wheel. How do I make a water wheel? Water wheels draw force from adjacent water currents. Covering additional sides will not improve its kinetic output further. Use wood planks to change its appearance. Good to know. Well, how what would it take to make a water wheel? A water wheel. Oh, that's actually not bad at all. How much for the big one? Oh, we have to put the little one in. All right, well, how about we'll just go ahead and make one. Do, 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 do. No, that was a, oh, no, it's a shaft it needed. Hey, water wheel. We'll go ahead and just make it big. Because why not? There's no reason not to. There we go. That'll be easier. We'll put the water wheel in. Surround it with stuff. And we got a water wheel. Large water wheel. So now if I ponder it, I'm, I'm assuming it's going to show the same thing. Oh yeah, look at that. So what we could always do is make a water system nearby. That would be super cool. There's a lot of creepers on our property and I got to do something about it. What are you doing on my property, creeper? Hold up now, no sneaking attack. Y'all better behave, boy. Oh, the lag almost got me. Who else wants some? Bobby? You keep creeping around like that, I swear, boy. That, that ain't right. Creeper. Oh man. Oh, too slow. Too slow. Okay though, because he can't actually blow anything up. Alright, boy. Come at me. Up. What you don't understand is I'm the king of walking backwards. Creep. Woo! Sort of band of arthropods on it. Oddly good at killing spiders. It does that a bane of arthropods three. Oh, do I have that little? Oh, well, I don't need a rotten tomato. I gotta really start actually just eating food that I have in my inventory already. I got overexcited about the water wheel. Creeper. Oh man, where to go? Ah, oh, there he is. Creeper, my lad. It's good to see you. Oh, wow, that lag did weird stuff. Alright, there's one more creeper creeping around. Minimap is kind of useful for that. Alright, he should be... But, oh, maybe he's underground. Oh, nope, there he is. Nerd spotted. Yeah. 4 XP, let's go. So 
So we live kind of next to this river, which I think would be a good vector for water power. Or at least we can make it a good vector for water power. Not on the windowy side, because the other side is... It'd be kind of cool if I built their water wheel out, maybe over here. Almost kind of wishing I didn't put my farm there. I don't want to move the whole thing. Oh, hey guys. Uh, let me go clean out my inventory real quick. I'll see you in just a second. Just like, hold on, I'm still dressing, I'm not decent. It's so nice of them to come visit, you know, I don't get a whole lot of folks out here. Oh, you came to my other door, guys. This... I would never make you go through the side door. I don't have a shield yet, you're gonna have to come to me. Thank you. Thank you for your bones. For your donation to the first bank of stew. Hi, spider. Oh, is there a particle effect for ban of arthropods? That makes a lot more sense. Hey, we got a couple hats, so we'll have to see if we have any hats that are sillier than what we've already procured. Oh, goodness. All right, uh, it goes there. All right, and I think we cleared out all that mob loot. So let's uh, open our hat bags. Got a swimmer cap. Oh, another burger hat. That's a duplicate. Oh, now, do duplicate hats stack? No. I'm going to pull all the hats out and put them in a hat bag here. I don't think the swimmer cap is what I'm feeling right now. I don't think I'm missing any other hats. Wow, I got a lot of stuff to sort. I don't think that, oh, yep, the caddy cap. I'm not quite stylish enough for the caddy cap. All right, well, that's better. Oh yeah, the rock I gotta put away too. I still really like these googly eyes. It's going to take a while before I decide to wear another hat. All right, water wheel. I'm so distracted. I'm wondering if we could make it work like over here. We'd have to kind of flood our cave a little bit. I'm kind of okay with Let's uh, place it. I don't know where would be adequate space for it. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Just uh, create a line here. All right, I guess that perfectly. Put that lower. I think we should lower that so that way we can access the crankshaft. Huh. Oh. Go like here. And then we kind of cordon off this trench and this will just become like a little aquifer. That should be enough room, yeah. All the water would flow down here. I think that'll work. And then I 
dig this out. This is where we're funneling all the water. And then make sure that's contained. I don't think that's breaching anywhere. Uh, kind of is here. I don't know how the water is going to flow. We keep the water kind of in this track. Oh, we reached level 23 as a builder. We're almost enough to use those backpacks we got as a gift. All right. That should be good enough. So now we just got to get water. For that, we will need a bucket. And we're getting more iron by the moment with our iron farm. Hello, B. Yeah, I gotta get rid of that flower. That's a d distraction for the bee. Alright, did I put... I did put a bucket here. I also have a bucket of fish. I'm not sure what I'm doing with yet. And which way do we want our water wheel to turn? Eh, this way seems sufficient. Bye bye. Oh, more of my dirt. Just see how that flows. Hey, we got it going. And the water flows down there, actually creating less of a problem than I thought. But I don't know, I think I still might want to clean that up a little bit or mess with that and make it a little bit nicer. And in the meantime, I can actually probably grab some of our dirt and fill some of it. And that's going to scare me every time I hear it. Should be able just to cover over this little cave. Make it a little less perilous to get in and out of the house. Alright. We made it this far. We have a power source. Now, is there a gear box? Right? Yes. And we need to create cogwheels and andesite casing. It's a shaft and planks. Okay, well that's not bad at all. Here, we'll get some shafts and some planks. We'll need more planks. All right, I think four cog wheels was all that was needed. I mean, andesite casing. Oh, you can't just make it. All right, that's okay. Deployer. But to get the deployer, I, I have to get the casing, and the casing needs it. Oh, manual item application. I can, okay, I, I can do it manually. So I have to say, I was like, I was caught in a feedback loop. So it looks like it needs a stripped log of sorts. So let's uh, put that in and strip it. And then take an andesite alloy. Hey, all right. Got andesite casing. And then we take these with the gears and we have a gearbox so now we can actually take this rotational energy and pipe it into the house There we go. That's actually not bad in that. So we're gonna have to make more shafts, I think.
We're getting there. <laughs> We're getting there, guys. Might put a, a gearbox on the floor or something. But that's that's not a bad start to power. Wonder if I can expand my water wheelage. Alright, so I gotta figure out how to make more shafts. Sorry, it's just two andesite alloys on top of each other. To be honest, we'll just make up the rest of that. And I can always craft more andesites. Ah, oh, the basement. I forgot about the basement. Whoops. Alright, that's okay. And then I think we should make another gearbox. Which is another... It's gonna be another andesite casing. Means we'll need to snag andesite and iron. Can I put this okram away? I think I have room for it somewhere. Yes. Do I have andesite? Not in this chest. I'll have some in here. Oh, I'm in a whole heap in my inventory, what do you know? Might need to make some more. <laughs> Enough. Oh yeah, there we go. We have a respectable amount of casings now. All right, let's make that other gearbox. Craft that, get another one. Super getting super efficient at this. And then I take the gearbox, all the gears. And realize that I might need to make a vertical gearbox. Oh well I can I can just turn it on its side. Haha. -ha. All right, and that has taken the rotational energy, and now it's vertical. We're about that far into the process now. Now we gotta figure out what to do next. Put that in the hat box. All right, so we got all these. I think, what, uh, what are we going to power? There's some basic machines I think we need. One of which... Let's see... Turn table, nozzle, paste fan. The crushing wheel's a big th Oh, wow. That needs a mechanical crafter. Ay ay ay. Electroc tune. You gotta like polish off rose quartz. Ay ay ay. Alright, well, we're clearly that's a little above us. It's a millstone. Is that a good thing to start with? What what else does it do for us? Process items by grinding them. And be powered from the side using cogwheels. Items at the top. And then you can obtain your items with the right click. Oh. Well, that might be just like a good test machine. And we can go from there, but I also know that like mechanical presses and mixers are important too. Huh. 
We ponder and mixer. Oh, basin, okay. Hmm. Weighted ejector, shoot, basin. Alright, well, a basin isn't that bad. These are these are really basics, I know. Steam missile, fluid interface, spell. Wow, well, there's a lot of things. Portable storage interface, harvester. Redstone contact. There's a sail. I know wind power is a big thing in this too. Portable. Uh, let's see. Well, you know what we can make? Well, we'll wait. Mm-hmm. Well, I guess we'll just start with the really basics here, and I think the millstone's a good starter thing. Yeah, because it's just like a stone, some and andesite casing, and a cog wheel, which we should be able to get away with. Two, three of those. And fourth one come from there. Make another casing. And go like that. That. Alright, and... Alright, I haven't lost it yet. Millstone. Stone casing cogwheel. Alright. We can do this. So we have dripstone casing cogwheel. I think I picked the one stone it was not acceptable to do that with. Does it have to be like a polished stone? Let's get a normal stone. Try it again. Stone, casing, cog wheel. Hey, millstone. Now, will it be powered from underneath? It's turning. So, let's try something. And I grind a piece of wheat. It seems to be milling. Embrace the grind. Yeah, we got wheat flour. All right. Interesting. What else can I grind? Well, let's just like grind all of our wheat. I wonder if it can accept like all of it. How much can this thing hold? How much until that? Oh, that baby just took all of it. Interesting. Well, look at that. And it'll keep track of... Oh, and you also get seeds as a random drop sometimes, too, which is interesting. Now, what can I do with wheat flour? <laughs> is it just a more efficient way to make bread? Alright, wheat flour can make wheat dough. And what do I do with the dough? Yeah, it's pretty much all just dough recipes. Oh, I can use an egg in lieu of water. So let's say I were to make some wheat dough. Oh, you can make slime balls. It's a more efficient way to make cake. Or you can cook it into bread. I don't think I have access to lime dye, though. I'd have to figure out lime dye. What is with the army of creepers? Man. Why is there like 20 creepers here?
Okay. Turn, baby, turn. It's insane. That's kind of cool. Now if I uh, partner that, we I believe we have some eggs, but I probably should try to turn them into chickens or at least get some chickens breeding. But that's so cool. Well, we've officially achieved some technology. What else can be milled? Can I mill potatoes? No. Hey, how's it going? It's great. I need to finish Halloween Town. How's it going? Oh, it's going good. I just breached into Create, so I just made my first ever Create device, which honestly is just a big water wheel and a millstone, but it's a start. <laughs> Everyone on the server hates water wheels, but I love water wheels. It was one of the only, it's the only thing I really knew how to make starting out, or at least didn't require a bunch of resources. So I just set one up and ran it to the house and uh, I ended up milling out some uh, wheat flour. So it was just an interesting exercise and at least learning some of how Create works. Trust me, you're gonna love Create. You can start automating the bread soon. Oh, that'll be exciting. I might actually have to start piping things to my basement instead of my, my main floor, or at least uh, starting to split things off, because I'm realizing I have a very small initial house. So I'm going to have to expand to further warehouses and things. But at least I'm getting my start and experimenting in kind of the main little house I have. We love that. Let's go! Um, the, the only thing I've made in Crate properly is a, <laughs> a fried egg farm. Oh, <laughs> there you go. Oh, goodness. Well, it's it's still more than I've done. <laughs> <laughs> this is the only thing I need. I need my eggs. Oh, goodness. Like, and I finally, after, I think, um, I've recorded what I consider six episodes of getting my feet under me on the server and it's now here doing episode like seven that i've finally decided let's make something and create and i started off with a clipboard and just kind of went from there but now you have a water wheel i am i'm part of the water wheel gang just the water wheels are my favorite yeah now if you stack them side by side do they provide more power or is it just aesthetic like if i were to take my water wheel and say double up on it and increase the size of my water stream is that going to give so me more, more rotational stress or yeah more water wheels you add more water more power you get okay yeah i might, I might end up just making a nice sizable water wheel well I guess <laughs> it'll be interesting. Um, but yeah, I definitely just have the one big guy. And I, I just went straight for the big one too, which I think I have to like, if I want the effects of the smaller one, I got to like gear it down or cog it down to something smaller. Yeah, the small ones are rubbish. I, I, I went straight to the big ones as well. I don't have any small ones. It's like the small one advantage, just the speed of the rotation, like the big ones rotate slower but give you more juice, or does that not matter? I don't think it matters. Okay. I think it, uh, just... yeah, I'm, not, I'm not overly too sure, but I don't think it matters. I've never seen a difference. Yeah, the, on the only thing I've picked up so far when it comes to create and the, the whole gear system is I know that big gears turn slow, but little gears can turn faster if you got the juice for it. I it's think. Like, um, there's a technique to it, and it's quite weird. I might have to take a screenshot and put it in images when I can. And it, it makes the cogs go insanely fast. On a oh, okay. That would be nice. Yeah, that, I gotta 
So I'm definitely going to have to add a second one. I just got to decide what I got to make next because uh, the... I'm uh, kind of sitting here at the just typing at create in JEI, and the first thing I saw that didn't look horrifying was the millstone. Um, I really want to get like a crushing wheel thing going, but uh, I need to get the mechanical crafter, and that's an odyssey in itself because I don't even know if, where to get rose quartz. And that's all. I don't know What's if that's that? another. Yeah, that's quartz surrounded with redstone. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Yeah, and then you've got to use sandpaper on it, and then put an iron sheet together. Yeah, so I'm a ways off from that. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's a lot to create. Well, hold up. To get... Oh, okay, that's just... Man, I searched sandpaper in JEI, and it... The first recipe, of course, it goes right to the diamond, and I'm like, but I don't have crushed diamonds. I can't crush diamonds. Oh, J.E.I. sometimes. All right, well, I guess, uh, what is the first create machine that you would suggest setting up for someone who's coming in and has just made a millstone in a water wheel? <laughs> so you're going to need a mechanical press to make iron sheets. Like that. All right, uh, they're, they're great. All right, mechanical press. I'm adding this to my clipboard. Mechanical um, press. Definitely an encased fan. Encased fan. Okay. Uh, I can share my screen quickly. Oh, that's my camera. <laughs> Not what I want. Okay. Just there. instantly dox yourself. No. <laughs> So, like, this is my base I'm sharing with some of my create stuff. Okay. Got my eye open on you old... Oh, there we go. Okay, I have to actually click on you in Discord and hit watch stream. There we go. Oh, wow. Hello. That's really it's... cool looking. <laughs> so, this is the mechanical press. Obviously, it's just being powered by spinny pot. Okay. Um, so what it does, I get some iron, and it just turns it into an iron sheet, which mm. you need to make mechanical crafters. Gotcha. Um, and also you have this fan here. Wait one second. Yeah. So if you power this fan fast enough, um, you can put lava here, and then. The particles shoot out, and then you can, like, oh, capture it. Things with it, like, and that, that would just smelt the cobblestone as a whole stack. Gotcha. See, Jen? Yeah, it's pretty neat. I'll definitely oh, have I to learn that. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's a lot to get used to, but it, you understand it more and more. Absolutely, yes. So I, I put this in images as well. Oh, well, thank you. Uh, I appreciate that. A big cog attached to a small cog with a big cog on it. Because <laughs> look how slow it starts. Oh, wow. And yeah. As you add more and more. Oh, wow. Yeah, that gets ridiculous. <sighs> yeah, and then as soon enough you could do this. <laughs> That's insane. Yeah, this, this is a auto boiler. <laughs> auto lava picker. My goodness. Yeah, and then my water wheels go all the way into the cave. <laughs> yeah, there's there's a lot you need to learn. I'm still learning because I'm quite new with Create. Yeah, with uh, with me, like Create was one of those mods because I I occasionally do the mod packs. Like I I also am doing a lot of playing in all the mods. And just playing in all the mods, I got, just like I took one look at Create, and I was like, uh, oh, that is for someone who knows what they're doing. And walked away. Oh, goodness. Yeah, it takes a while. I just realized my iron machine is also broken. Oh, no. It's just pushing all this, because it's, it's supposed to wash the gravel. 
and turn it into an iron nugget. And then the iron nuggets get put on this mechanical crafter and then turn into an ingot. But it's not working. <laughs> yeah, eventually I'm going to really learn it and get a little more elegant with it. and You know, it'll, it'll be a process for sure. Yeah, it takes a while. I've had to go through like four servers to learn more about create. But well, that's because they shut down really fast and I never got to... Yeah, that's why I'm really hoping that this one sticks around and I'm really trying to throw my support behind it. Now, like, you know, I'm not anyone fancy or anything fancy, but it was really nice to be invited to actually learn and actually uh, be a part of something like this. So, excited. Yeah, I think we are trying to keep it open as long as possible. That's why I want to start doing events, because events keep servers uh, going. Definitely. <laughs> please, please ignore my massive bio farm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, eventually I gotta start farming kind of similar to that, because right now I've just set up a nice little vanilla peaceful farm. <laughs> hey, vanilla boy. If I... well, I'm trying to make Halloween Town. Ah, uh, actually... oh, you're there. Actually, it's pretty far from you. It is. Oh yeah, I I walked away pretty far because I had misread uh, Alvo's initial message when I first joined. So I was like, oh, how far away should I walk away just to make sure I don't interfere with anyone else's builds? And she said to go 500 blocks out. Well, my fun brain put an extra zero in there, and I'm like, 5,000 blocks? I'm like, I guess I could go 5,000 blocks. And uh, when I got about, like, 1,500 blocks away from spawn, that's when I was like, I feel like I'm a little far away from everybody. So I just left the snow biome. And uh, the first uh, good valley I found, I set up shop, which is why I was really surprised when I got a neighbor so close to me. Because, like, I got a message on Discord, oh, hey, I might have set up kind of near you by accident. And I'm like, okay, well, at least it'll be nice to have someone close by. And then I pull it up and her claims are, like, touching. And I was like, okay, I guess we're neighbors now. <laughs> I thought it was a little remote and that it... It's like I was going to be the hermit on the server here for a minute. Um, but that ended up not being the case. <laughs> yeah, but I'm like the exact same as well. Because I live basically at spawn. And just a Canadian has basically just attached his claim onto mine. <laughs> <laughs> That's something I got to get used to. So, well, at least it's better then. So when I was a lot younger... Um, and I had my first retail job, uh, so I was part of a community theater troupe for a very long time. And uh, so I opened up a Minecraft server for myself and all of my theater friends. But the thing is, is that we locked it down way too much because we were worried about griefing and people fighting with each other over land and stuff. So we basically had a system where you can walk out and build in the wilderness but we ended up building a downtown and then kind of a housing subdivision with plots you could claim. <laughs> um, and it would just, it was, and we didn't have a proper chunk claiming system. It was all really based on, you know, putting signs down and saying, this is mine. And then having it approved by an admin. <laughs> But I got called into a lot of disputes, and then unfortunately there was a lot of arguing that ended up going on that server to where I eventually pulled the plug. Where I'm like, alright, if you guys are just going to be awful to each other, then I'm just not going to shell out what at the time was like a 30 buck a month server plan we were on. Yeah. And I was like, yeah. So uh, since then, I've only ever done like very small private servers with friends and haven't ventured out into the wider community. So this is kind of my first, okay, I got to relearn how to be a social being again. Yeah, um, I was seeing if uh, Slavsky and Alvo are going to join, but they're at Alvo's mom's house at the moment. Oh yeah, that's alright. I'll join. 
<laughs> yeah, well, I got to, I'm actually on borrowed time. I got to leave in about five minutes because I actually have a I'm part of a local community choir as well. And I we have practice today. So I had to go sing. I do a lot of random stuff. I do a little bit of everything. Oh, there you go. That's nice. What's your... Uh, well, before I go then, what's uh, your favorite role that you've played? Um, uh, so... <laughs> I, in school, we did the Little Mermaid. Yes. Musical, and I was Scuttle the Seagull. That's awesome. And I, I had to wear these great tights and lots and lots of feathers with lots of spikes in it. That's beautiful. <laughs> oh, I, know. I love it. I've never been through so much pain dancing. <laughs> right? That's amazing. Yeah, I know for for me, I think out of all the shows that I've ever done, there's one that I like because of what I got away with. And one that I like just because it was the most fun I've had. So the one I got away with was early on, I think I was about 14 or so, uh, we did The Music Man. And I was playing the Anvil salesman, Charlie Cowell. And he's got that line at the beginning about being tarred and feathered and your hair never growing back. So I was able to convince my mom to let me shave my head just for the one line so I can whip my hat off and I shaved male pattern baldness into my head and wore that look just out and around for a solid you know few weeks oh it was the most because I just like to do stunts for attention and it's like wait I can do this and the director's like all right but you need to make it clear to your mom I did not ask you to do this you are asking to do it <laughs> they didn't want to get in trouble but that was fun but Oh, yeah, the, but the most fun I've had with the role and the one that I've actually done twice uh, in a, with a few different troops is uh, was the mayor of Whoville in Seussical the Musical. Just, That's so cool. I love Dr. Seuss and I've just, you know, I've been reading Dr. Seuss since I was a kid and just doing the role of the mayor of Whoville, you eventually start thinking in that rhyming pattern. So I became really good at just improvising in that pattern. Yes, I agree. And then uh, with that, though, I am on borrowed time. I'm already going to be late a little bit, so I'm going to go ahead and hop off. I'm sorry you just got here, Fungus. I saw that you signed on to voice, and I'm, like, walking in, like, saying my goodbyes and oh, chilling cool. out. Uh, but anyways, uh, catch you guys around. Uh, it, by the way, is your name pronounced Shiny or Shinny? Shin, Shinny? Oh, Shinny. Shinny, okay. I gotta, I gotta make sure I get that right. <laughs> it's it's the Japanese. Gotcha. Okay. My my one. Well, I've on, I've only dipped my toe into anime. We're talking like Seven Deadly Sins, a little bit of uh, Attack on Titan, and then uh, I of course watched through both the Full Metal Alchemist series because I really enjoyed those as well. Yeah. So that's about as far as I've dipped my toe in, and I've. I started my Hero Academia, and then my Crunchyroll expired, and I need to go back and watch it. It is great. It gets better. It's it's really slow at the start. That's why I'm not like into anime so much. It's because like most enemies, they're so fucking slow. Just like my Hero Academia, it's so slow at the start. Yeah, but it's a good like, it's a good build up. I just get a laugh out of the characters, especially uh, like. A character like All Might, and I guess myself being an American and familiar with that hero trope, just seeing it parodied so perfectly. Yeah. Uh, uh, like I've uh, I've watched into season two, and that's still slow. I'm just <laughs> if I'm gonna like keep on watching it, I think it's only gonna pick up the pace of like season three, and from then on, it's actually gonna be really good. But I don't want to like just automatically go from season two just. Is to skip all those episodes just go to season three because I'll gonna like miss a lot of things. Oh yeah, there's a lot of context and a lot of lore building and world building yeah. that they do. But anyways, oh now I really gotta hop off. I keep extending it. I I will I will yeah. filibuster all day. I will just keep talking. But I will catch yeah. you guys around. It was really great talking with you both, uh, Shinny. It was good to finally actually hop on at the same time and chat with you. So uh, I'll. 
Oh yeah, my pleasure. Yeah, we'll definitely uh, try to plan it out a little better so I can try to not have an overpacked day and actually log on when people are here. Because uh, I usually just hop on around five or six in the morning my time, uh, which I oh. think is somewhere around like like somewhere like eleven or noon or so. I don't know how how far time goes across yeah. the ocean, but you know I usually wake up early my time and then I'm usually hopping off closer to eight 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 a.m. my time. Because uh, when I don't have something going on, that's usually when you know the family wakes up and I gotta make breakfast and all that. Uh, but I uh, usually uh, the limited morning time on weekends is what I got. So I'm either doing this or another one of my series, or if I'm feeling really brave, streaming to my Twitch, which I've been doing less often lately. But uh, want to get back into. But anyways, guys, I'm gonna catch you around. So I uh, hope you guys have a better rest of your day. Yeah. See you later. All right, guys. Well, this has been Stu Stu Magoo. Hope you have a better and safe rest of your day. Thank you for watching. If you like what you see, hit that like button. If you want to see more, please hit subscribe. I hope you have a better and safe rest of your day. Bye.